All the shipping labels are already on. Once you get them to the shipping house, they will unload them and send them to their destination. Okay. Oh, goody. Oh, that's my painting. Ma'am? My painting. I'd like it, please. Oh, no offense to you and your company. I've lost art in shipping before, you see, and I prefer to have my possessions in my possession. Well, you know, I can't just give you the painting. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know who I am. I'm the Duchess of Islington Barrow. That is my property, and I would like it. I need to see some ID. Do I look as if I came out carrying ID, young man? Miss Hart? Oh, ah, uh, yes, Miss Collins. Oh, Miss Hart, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with your security. I was thinking I'd like to hire them the next time the London Art Museum loans something out. The thing is, I was asking him for his contact info, and he wouldn't give it to me. Don't you what? No. Which, you know, he said, it's protocol. I get it. You know, it's good for security, but it's rubbish for business. Do you think you could just... Frank, Frank, don't be paranoid. Just give it to her. Thank you. Frank, let's be friends. Don't pout. Uh, Nate, something's wrong. Ooh, there's one and there's another one. That's, th thank you, that's very, very it's super helpful, babe. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, Sophie's alias has been flagged online. By who? Everyone, look, there's three more. That's, I, thank you, babe, we, we see, we... Shake it, give me some salt! Beef dance will pay you. Nate, this isn't what I do, man, okay? I, I make beers, man. I, I, I don't do wines. Well, Madigan, he broomed out the old staff, so those job openings, that's the best way in. Hardison, you're gonna make a great vintner. I don't even know what a vintner does. A yeah, vintner is like uh, the resident geek. Wine making, it's fermentation, a chemical process. So you just pretend that you're making whatever it is that you make? What I make is beer. Man, did you even try my jicama plum stout? Uh-oh. It's ridiculous, man. The flavor is just, it's pungent, it's amazing, man. And if you did, you would know that I know my beers, man. This is wine, it's a completely different field. It's like trying to play football on, on, on a baseball field. Interview, Jitters, relax. Sophie's got you all the answers. What paper did you say you write for? Wine blog. K sera sera. It's clever. So, you were the vintner at the B Meadow Winery until Frank Madigan took ownership. Everyone wants to know what's the real reason behind your departure. At the end of the day, you can't rush the grapes. Oh, you can totally rush the grapes. Yeah. What kind of materials do you use? Sustainably harvested oak barrels. What's wrong with plastic? Let's save some trees. Bottom line, I value quality over quantity. And you know, I got three words for you. Volume, volume, volume. You're hired. Y'all standing around looking at me for? I see a room full of smudges and a bunch of people with brooms and mops. Get to it. I don't have a mop in my hand. I can't do nothing about it. Can't help you. I'm sorry. Age of the geek, baby. I am the grape of Gatsby. I don't know how much. Who's that? His name's Leonard. It's Madigan's right hand guy. He's got a very punchable face. Yeah, I noticed that. V equals G times T times A. Velocity equals gravity, 32 feet per second squared, multiplied by time in seconds, multiplied by the cosine angle of the zip line. Minus friction. Minus friction. It's just that this is the kind of mastermind stuff you usually go off and do by yourself, you know? Well, you and your bottle. So when is this thing uh, shipped to Africa? In 39 hours. OK, well, we've got to get our hands on the, uh, the uh, whirly gleegly. Whirly gleegly before it's gone gone.
the hell would give this thing to a child? It's not a thing. It is a doll, and kids love dolls. It ain't no doll. That's some old voodoo witchcraft, and I don't want it up in Lucille. What, what if I said that about the flashy kicks you've been giving me lately? Hey, they are awesome. They make you shiny and fast. Okay, this thing, no kid should ever be subjected to. Ever. Nate, you see this? Oh, guys, it doesn't matter what toy Parker picks. Anything can be sold. Oh, yeah, it's right. It's just a mass marketing con game that's about creating wildfire buzz like the modern art world or the movie business. Any crappy product. What? Baby Joy Rage is not crappy. Any misunderstood product can make billions as long as it has the right buzz. Promise me those things will never hit store shelves. No, oh, I'm keeping them all to myself. I've got them lined up in my warehouse like an army of joy and rage. You don't ever want to be in that warehouse alone. Mm -hmm. Ever. Hello, Lucky Bean Toys. This is Charlotte Gerard, Fire Chief. Our machines detected a severe gas leak in one of your company buildings. Yes, that's the one, the one you have, that company building. Yes, yeah, yes, you need to evacuate everyone immediately. I said everyone! I think that'll do it. Uh, you should. Yeah, you should. I think I scared her a little bit. Did you I jump? You scared me. Jumpy. Hi, I'm, I'm saying that we, uh, I think we went overboard on Christmas gifts last year. Nate, I love my Akasi motorcycle from last Christmas. Compliments on my Santa baby. You spent $100,000 on a motorcycle. Don't hate the gift, hate the elf. I do hate the elf. So are you saying no Christmas presents at all? Not even something small? No gifts. But how are we supposed to do Christmas without any presents? Let's just put a limit on spending. Let's say a thousand dollars of a hundred dollars of fifty bucks a person. Fine, whatever. I think it's really sad that we're so cynical about gifts. I used to, oh, I loved Christmas as a child. Yeah, well, nothing's genuine anymore. That's not true, no. I've been thinking about this, and you, you know what is genuine? Trust. Trust? Yes, trust. I think, no, seriously, I think we should give each other some trust for Christmas. What, like that willow exercise where you fall back and someone catches you? No, not like that. Good, because I did that once and I dropped the person and they had to get stitches. Still hurts. I know. I just think that, well, we've been through so much together, all of us, and we should give each other something really personal this year, like, um, I don't know, a story or, or, or a secret. No, come on, <laughs> bear with me, please, please. Who's gonna go first? Elliot. All right. When I was a kid, I wanted a trumpet one Christmas. My, my father played Sinatra all the time. And uh, Sinatra had this trumpet player named Sweets Edison, Harry Sweets Edison. Great sound, amazing. I wanted to sound just like him, you know. Christmas rolled around and uh, there was no trumpet, just a pack of uh, baseball cards. And my, my father said that uh, Santa must have had a, a rough year at the track. So there's. Anyway, a couple of days later, I wake up in my bed, and at the foot of the bed is, uh, is a trumpet. And it's all tarnished and dinged up. My dad probably rolled somebody for it, but, but there it is. And I, uh, I played that trumpet every day for 10 years. Now, I never, I never uh, ended up sounding like uh, Sweets Edison, but... So I gave it to, um, I gave it to Sam on his eighth birthday. And that was, um, his, um, first trumpet lesson was scheduled for the day, as it turns out, that he went into the hospital. And I, so he, I don't have 
have anything left from my childhood, but I did keep the trumpet. I keep it on the boat. Okay, who's next?